it's on 8.30 p.m. July, or sorry, June the 30th. Um, got a Yellow Jackets nest here. There's actually German Yellow Jackets going in here at the air conditioning for a power box. You got a nest under the insulation in the basement. So there are more basement Yellow Jackets. Um, pretty busy nest. I don't know how many are in there, but there's some flying around the light in the basement. And they're not too happy. One of them almost stung me on the forehead when I was down there. So I'm going to be uh, removing that this evening. Maybe put on a box if I can get the nest out with the queen. But yeah, it's a pretty busy uh, yellow jacket's nest. I have to fix this here, this gap. It's the backyard area. So yeah, June the 30th, 2017, about 8.30 p.m. It's actually good that I'm going out now because most of them will be in the nest uh, when I'm doing the job, so they come back and I just vacuum them up. Yep, All right, see when we uh, get on the inside, some of the outside activity. This thing could be a lot busier in a couple months. I think the, the species builds the biggest nest in my area. I really don't want to get stung, so but there they are. <sighs> so which one is it under? My guess is this one. You can see there's some Buzz around the light, we're in the basement. I'll take a basement over an attic any day, nice and cool down here. But yeah, they're, uh, go right to the light. As you can see, every light down here in this basement, there's some yellow jackets flying around. I guarantee you, as soon as I pull that insulation back, there's gonna be a lot more fully suited, of course. Cause it's pretty scary, the way they attack. So yeah, um, Get started soon. I got the vac vacuum ready to go. I might actually try to relocate this nest to a box. Um, so I'm not sure if that'll be successful. You got to get the queen and a good amount of workers to be successful with that. But we'll see what happens. See one there. I've chewed into it. Actually, that's where they're coming out. Interesting. I can hear them. I hear the crackling sound. Listen. rustling sound but yeah probably where the nest is up in there it's a wet spot see what's what so I'm gonna stop this soon and resume once I expose the nest so yeah I'm gonna pull back some of these other pieces of insulation all right see you soon it's the entrance here. So once they all come back, I'll start up. It's almost sunset anyway. Let me go this way. It's like a pheromone or something that they use. Use like a pheromone trail to find their way back to the nest. They use their antenna to smell, I guess. You can see it's like a single file line. It's really cool, actually. I hate to kill them, they're so fascinating. They kind of communicate, too. One of them's buzzing at me, but going off yet so it's so cool German yellow jackets Vespula germanica that one's got like it's visiting a flower or something like pollen or something on it yep go back that way it's got food and this is like three feet behind me so they go back pretty far hopefully I can get it out intact all right.
It's a lot of yellow jackets. A lot more on the way. My true larva. They don't like human breath, so I try not to breathe too hard or talk too loud. Going all the way over there. And then they built here. One, two, three, four, five, six combs, and it's June 30th. Six comb nest already. It's pretty big. This thing could be quite impressive come October, November. Quite impressive. All right. So I got these here too. Most of them are already inside anyway. Want that to happen, but it was almost inevitable. Quite impressive. Just kind of chilling out. Yeah, they're not the most aggressive. As I talk, I kind of startle them. Like carbon, carbon dioxide. Get in between the cones. View. Not bothered by the flashlight. That one's down there. Yeah, I ripped off the envelope. Yeah, it looks like it's got six cones. I'm gonna try to put in that box and relocate them. Shit, that one's going off, and then I'll tell the others and I'll come out swarming. That's all that happens. One releases a pheromone, notifies the others that there's danger, and then they freaking go into attack mode. Still get nerve wracked doing this. But I'm glad I don't have to deal with this nest in, you know, August when there could be, you know, 5,000 in it. Species probably get up to seven or eight thousand on a really big, really, you know, really big nest. That's rare. Mature larvae. Keep tending them. On the light. Entrance again. All right. They're pissed. I'd say these 500 in this nest, easy. And it's only June 30th. Holy mackerel. Holy cow. All right, I got the nest out. Now I just vacuum up the ones that are left. Which includes all the ones by the light. I'd say a good four or 500 were in this nest already. Well on its way to being a five to six thousand worker nest. So yeah. Not much vacuuming action to see in this video, but we go to the light and I suck them up. So yeah, the customer will put this insulation back on. Alright, June 30th, 2017. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.